and we want to join now the acting chief of the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection from the Air Quality Bureau, Paul Farrell. Paul, thanks so much for hopping on with us right now. Oh, sure thing, Kara. How you doing? Yeah, we, you know, I, I think um, a lot of us have already been having some respiratory issues with colds for whatever reason this time of year, but what happens when the air quality drops like it has today? So what happens essentially is, and just to set this up, and I think Mike did that a little bit too, uh, you know, those fires are only, you know, 500 miles or so from us. So with low pressure to our east and high pressure to our west, it's the perfect conduit for that smoke to be funneled right into Connecticut. And what we're seeing is elevated levels of fine particulate matter, and that's uh, very, very small particles, 2.5 microns or smaller, and that's a, a fraction of the diameter of a human hair. So the, the issue is when you breathe in these particles, they tend to go deep into your lungs, and that's where they can cause all sorts of problems, especially for people with pre-existing uh, lung disease, asthma, COPD, emphysema, things like that. But when we're seeing uh, the values that we're seeing today, which are upwards of 60 to 70 uh, <laughs> micrograms per cubic meter, uh, when the health standard for 24 hours is 35 micrograms per cubic meter, anyone is going to feel effects from today if they're outside and they're exerting themselves. Okay, so just on the spectrum here, this is pretty high. What should we avoid doing? I read, you know, it's not a good idea to go do strenuous work outside. What if you want to go for a run or something? Absolutely. Uh, it's not something I would do today. I would put it off till tomorrow. Uh, our forecast for tomorrow has the smoke shifting to our west, so it'll be more over New York and Pennsylvania. And is this potentially one of the highest levels we've seen? You know, we, we had that question here, and, and we were batting it around for some of the old timers like myself who've been at deep for a while. Uh, the last time we had smoke this high, I was going to say, was uh, around 2021 in July. And prior to that, in the early 2000s, I want to say July 2002, there was a very similar setup where smoke from Quebec was getting pumped into Connecticut, and the levels were extraordinarily high at that point, too. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, Paul, for uh, helping us understand and, and good rules to try and stay inside today. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. And